Hello everyone, welcome to the preparation series from Easy Engineering Classes. In these lectures, we solve previous year questions for from various computer science exams like Gate Computer Science, UGC Net Computer Science or Bank IT Officer exam. And today I bring to you two questions from C programming subject. Both of them came in Gate 2015 paper and the first one is Consider the following C function int fun int of n int x equal to 1 comma k if n is equal to equal to 1 then return x for k equal to equal to 1 k less than so it won't be equal to equal to 1 it should be k equal to 1 because it's an assignment in the for loop so k equal to 1 k less than n plus plus k then x is equal to x plus fun of k multiplied by fun of n minus k and then after the loop return x. The return value of fun of 5 is. Alright, so it's a recursive question or the, a recursive function and you have to find out what would be the final value returned when fun this function is called with the parameter 5. So let's see what happens when fun of 5 is called. Fun of 5, if I write fun, I'm writing the shorthand f for fun. So f of 5, basically what does it do? It assigns n equal to 5, alright? So int x is equal to 1, x is initialized to the value 1, k, we have another variable k. Now if n is equal to equal to 1, no, n is equal to 5. Therefore, we'll enter into the for loop for k is equal to 1, k is initialized 1, k is less than n, yes, 1 is less than 5. So, x is equal to x plus fun of k into fun of n minus k. So, f of 5, what it will do is x, it will assign to x the initial value of x which is 1 plus f of that means fun of k k is 1 multiplied by f of 5 minus 1 which is 4 all right and once we calculate this entire value this value there would be another call because the iteration of the for loops have not yet ended okay once we calculate this value the value of k would be incremented in the for loop it becomes 2 2 is less than 5 Therefore, to the existing value of x, currently existing value of x is this 1 plus f of 1 into f of 4. This is the existing value and now we'll again add the result of f of k. k is 2, so f of 2 multiplied by n minus 2 which is f of 3. Alright, now again we go to the next iteration of the for loop k is incremented and we add to the current value of x current value of x is this entire statement we add f of k fun of k means f of 3 multiplied by f of 5 minus 3 which is 2 then again k is incremented which becomes 4 4 is less than 5 and we add to this value f of i'm writing here f of 4 which is f fun of k multiplied by fun of n minus 1 5 minus 4 is f of 1 all right so this is the first expression and when k is incremented again and it becomes 5 this condition becomes false and we come out of the for loop and we return all right so whatever would be the value returned by this or whatever would be the value of this expression that would be the answer to this question all right now in this expression we need to first calculate different values like f of 4 f of 3 f of 2 and f of 1 that means fun of 4 3 2 and 1 so let's calculate f of 4 would run on similar lines see when we call f of 4 n would now become 4 x is again 1 we initialize k to 1 all right so what would happen 1 plus 1 plus f of 1 
multiplied by f of 4 minus 1 which is f of 3 all right then when k becomes 2 the value would be the recursive call would be made for fun of 2 multiplied by 4 minus 2 which is again f of 2 plus then the last value in this for loop would be k equal to 3 so this would be f of k which is f of 3 multiplied by f of 1 all right now for f equal to 3 what would be the values see we need 3 here also f of 3 1 plus f of k k is 1 multiplied by 3 minus 1 okay so in this iteration this is n n minus k that means 3 minus 1 is 2 then f of 2 multiplied by f of 1 this is what would be the last statement then calculating f of 2 f of 2 would be 1 plus f of 1 multiplied by f of 1 and finally f of 1 would be if n is equal to equal to 1 return x that means we return the value 1 here okay so when this value is returned we substitute in this value because the function call of f of 2 required f of 1 so this becomes 1 plus 1 into 1 which is 1 therefore the return the value of f of 2 is 2 all right in this case in case of f of 3 what is the value 1 plus f of 1 is 1 f of 2 is 2 so this is 2 plus f of 2 into f of 1 which is again 2 so this value becomes 5 all right so this is f of 2 this is f of 3 now calculating f of 4 this f of 4 is 1 plus f of 1 is 1 f of 3 is 5 then f of 2 is 2 so 2 into 2 is 4 then f of 3 is 5 5 into 1 is 5 so this becomes 15 so the value here is 15 all right now final value we need to compute for f of 5 f of 5 is nothing but 1 plus f of 1 into f of 4 f of 4 is 15 f of 1 is 1 so 15 plus f of 2 into f of 3 so 2 and 3 the values would be 5 into 2 which is 10 then plus again 10 then 15 and the sum of these would be 30 plus 20 and 51 50 one. So the answer to this question is 51. All right. So if you are clear with recursive calls, how do they work and how the value returned by the previous recursive calls would be used in computing the actual value that we want, then this question is not at all difficult. All right. So coming to the next question, next question says, consider the following code and in the code you are given that there is a while loop while first is less than equal to last if a of m is less than s then first is equal to m plus 1 else if a of m is equal to equal to s found is equal to true else last is equal to m minus 1 and m is equal to first plus last by 2 then after the while loop there is an if statement which says if first greater than last then non -pre not present is equal to true so basically uh, it's searching for an element and returning whether the element is present or not so the cyclometric complexity of this code is all right so one shortcut for finding cyclometric complexity is the total number of predicate nodes plus one now what is a predicate node a predicate node is any node which has an out degree of two that means any node at which we are making certain decision would have two different uh, nodes that correspond as the children to the initial predicate node okay so what do i mean here that to cyclometric complexity can be written as 1 plus number of predicate nodes now what is a predicate node predicate nodes 
are any nodes at which a particular decision is made or a condition is checked and there are two at least two emerging nodes from that particular predicate node so this is a predicate node because at this a condition is checked and a decision was made say true or false and based on that decision either of the two paths would have been taken so a node that has the out degree of at least two is a predicate node so what are the nodes that are predicate nodes here while loop is a predicate node if is a predicate node else if and this if now see why this particular else is not a predicate node because when we con construct the node for a while loop in the control flow graph then either we would we would check this condition first is less than equal to last and based on this condition we would either enter into this inner while loop or we would directly come to this condition of if okay now this if if it is true we would execute the statement not present else we will directly jump out of this if and come to the last statement suppose this is the last statement or the next statement after not present statement after this particular statement which i am denoting by star all right now if we have we checked the while condition if it was true this is the while condition this was the if condition when the while was false all right if it is true we again check the if condition so this is the if condition again at this again there would be a decision if this condition is true then we would execute this statement otherwise we would jump to an else if statement okay now this is an else if and if this condition inside this brackets are true then we would execute this particular node or this particular statement of found equal to true if it is false we would jump to the else part in this else part which is represented by this node there is no decision being made if we have not entered into any of the previous if statements we would definitely enter here all right and therefore after executing this statement last is equal to m minus 1 we would directly jump to this node which is which i am denoting by hash so this is denoted by hash this would come here this would come here and basically i have drawn the flow graph for you so and this would be control flow graph so what we are base doing at while we are making a decision again when we enter while this is the first if at which we are making a decision if this if is not true then we go to the else if node at which we are making a decision and again if this else if is not true we directly execute this else node and come to the statement m equal to first plus last by 2 and after all of this has been executed see if while if while was not true then we would from here we would directly jump to the while loop um, okay so after this particular condition would have been executed we would again jump back to the while loop that would also be a part of the control graph so what i meant to say that there are four predicate nodes and else is not a predicate node therefore the answer for this question would be 1 plus 4 and that is 5 all right you can also complete this control flow graph and find out that the num what are the number of nodes what is the number of edges and then find out the cyclometric complexity all right so if you do that way you would find out that the total number of edges would come out to be around 13 the total number of nodes would come out to be around 10 and uh, sub applying the formula of e minus n plus 2 you would again 13 minus 10 plus uh, 
two would give you five again which is the answer all right so uh, you can do it by any of the two ways but i find that for exams like gate and ugc net you need quick ways in which you can solve the question in as less time as possible therefore counting the number of predicate nodes is one of those ways that's all for today's lecture thank you for staying together till the end if you like this video please share it with your friends and let us know in the comment section below how did you find this video subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get to the notifications of the videos that we upload in future thank you stay tuned good luck